Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome to the second installment of building the new layout and it is um, Wednesday evening over here in the UK and I started doing this actually this afternoon uh, I've just finished it, the last part of uh, putting the framework together and as you can see it's gone together really really well, I'm pleased with it um, so all I'm doing now, I've done all the work outside so I've just brought it inside the house and obviously letting the room temperature cure the glue uh, and it's all screwed and glued together. So anyway, I'll take you in for a little bit of a look, but uh, as you can see so far, it's nice and impressive, isn't it? I haven't put the top on yet. It's just sitting behind the frame, as you can see in the shot. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and hopefully get that uploaded. But just a quick video today and uh, I'll bring you in for a closer look. As you can see, um, it's pinned on the outside and obviously the slots go in and they're glued and pinned um, it's a nice snug fit as well so there's no slack and it's all held together nice and tight by the uh, panel pins and the glue as well at the same time um, that's the majority of it the way it goes together and at the top um, <clears throat> you've got these fixing screws that are countersunk uh, for each of the four corners that marry up nice and snug and then you fit these triangle offcuts which are um, corner stabilizing blocks again they're just held in place by um, very strong PVA I chose to use my own PVA as opposed to the one that came with the, the kit um, but I'm sure the one they supply is very very good but the one I use is like industrial bond no, it's, it's brilliant stuff as you can see as I mentioned in the last video here um, these little countersunk holes are for the top that I'm going to fix on tomorrow maybe tomorrow but i'm going to wait until the whole thing dries because what we need to do at the moment is let this whole thing dry overnight and uh, it's pretty warm in the bedroom i've got the fan on up there on top of the bookcase up there so it's circulating the air in here and also helping it dry a bit quicker um but so far so good um the quality of the the actual wood um that's been cut customly for this so i'm very impressed it's very very good um, got the other little splinter which you expect but um, overall once it's the glue goes off and it's all dried it's gonna be very very rigid and very very strong it's very very strong at the moment um, so obviously when the glue goes off it will be uh, even stronger so yeah this is gonna be a very very strong baseboard and to be honest with you guys um, this is much more nicer than I've ever had in terms of baseballs um, I started out just with a sheet of um, <coughs> I think it was six by five my first ever train set board when I was a kid in 1980 and then I moved up to a sheet of um, MDF eight by four just on a timber frame after that I had a eight by four MDF sheet cut in half and the last layout I had was a full-size ping-pong table but the thing was very, very heavy. And this is, this is actually very movable. You can pick it up and take it, which is the idea. So at the moment, there we go. This is the next installment of the layout. Thanks for all the thumbs up and comments. And don't forget to click and subscribe, the like buttons and the thumbs ups and all that good stuff. And a very, very Merry Christmas to you all out there watching this. Thanks for watching the last update. I appreciate this. I know it doesn't look much right now. But you've got to sort of have an advanced think out of the box, pardon the pun, um, vision. This is going to look good once the top's on it and we start laying track and we start putting some scenery on there and some we ballast the track and we weather it and down, down the line, again, excuse the pun, it will look really nice. And I intend to make this um, a really, really nice 6x4 model railway. But what I like at the moment, whilst we're in the construction stage, what I do like is these ingenious holes. They're not there for streamlining or any purpose. They're there for the wires. So when we run wires under the baseball, they're not going to sag and hang underneath um, or they're not going to get in the way. Um, this layout is going to be resting on a table. Um, and I'll see if I can put it on the bed behind me because it will fit. But overall, um, the wires won't get caught under underneath and there won't be no wires damaged or straggling underneath, which is great. And these corners, these little corner blocks here, I've just put one there. Uh, I've put obviously one in each corner, one there, one there, 
and then down the bottom there's one there and there's one there in the corner I'll put one there one up there and so forth and there it's just basically to aid the baseball top with a little bit more added strength but not that it needs it because this is very very strong and all these all these are nice and flush so there's going to be no problems you actually glue to this surface and then obviously put your baseboard on uh, your top on and then just screw it all and glue it all together but i'm going to give this a good day or so throughout tomorrow to dry thoroughly make sure that it's done uh, and then probably maybe maybe by friday or saturday i'll probably get the baseball top on and that will need screwing and gluing again so it's, it's getting there anyway but i just thought i wanted to share this update with you oh, excuse me and uh i hope you enjoy the continual follow of me doing this anyway thanks again take care merry christmas and thanks for watching the video and we'll see you soon for another exciting installment of Richard's Model Railway. See you later.